Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this semicircle that is inscribed in this square of side length 8 as you can see in this figure. And moreover, this blue line is tangent to this semicircle. And now we are going to find the area of this green shaded region. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's focus on this blue line. This is which is FC. I'm going to call this one the length X. And the length of this line segment EF I am going to call Y. So therefore this FC is X and EF is Y. And moreover, the length of this line segment CE is going to be simply X minus Y. So thus this EC could be written as X minus Y. And I'm going to call this as an equation number 1. And here's our second step. Let's recall two tangent theorem. And here is our two tangent theorem. If two tangent segments are drawn from a circle from the same external point, then the segments are equal as you can see in this given figure. So therefore, according to this theorem, our this tangent line CD and this tangent line EC are equal in length. Therefore, DC equals to EC and we know our DC value is 8. I can write 8 equal to EC. And now let's go ahead and substitute this EC equals to 8 value in this equation number 1. And here's our equation number 1, EC equal to X minus Y. Let's fill in the blanks. EC is 8 equal to X minus Y. That means our X equal to Y plus 8. And we know that X is the length of this uh, line segment uh, FC. So therefore, FC could also be written as equal to Y plus 8. And here's our next step. Let's recall the two tangent theorem once again and we are going to apply it at this location. And here we can see that we have this line segment AF and this line segment EF. They are tangent to this semicircle. So therefore, according to this two tangent theorem, they are equal in length. So therefore we can write AF equal to EF and we know that EF equals to Y as you can see over here. So I can write AF equals to Y. So therefore this line segment AF turns out to be Y. And we know that this whole length AB is 8. So this length FB is going to be simply 8 minus Y. So thus we can write this FB line segment equals to 8 minus Y. And here's our next step. Let's focus on our this green shaded triangle FBC. I have just copied it down over here and we know that this FC is Y plus 8. So this side is Y plus 8 and this FB this one is 8 minus Y and this BC is going to be 8 as you can see over here and since this ABCD is a square so this angle B is 90 degrees no wonder I just put down right angle over here 
And since this is a right triangle, therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, the longest leg FC, I'm going to call C. This horizontal side, I'm going to call A. And this vertical side, I'm going to call B. And here's our Pythagorean formula. And we are going to fill in the blanks. Our A is 8 minus Y, B is 8, and C is Y plus 8. So thus we got 8 minus Y square plus 8 square equal to Y plus 8 square. And now we are going to expand these two binomials, as you can see over here, by using these two formulas. So therefore, uh, this equation becomes 64 minus 16y plus y square plus 64 equal to y square plus 16y plus 64 and as we can see that this y square and this y square on both sides they are gone this 64 and this 64 is gone as well so on the left hand side we ended up with 64 minus 16 y equal to 16 y Let's move this 16y on the other side. So we got 64 equal to 16y plus 16y. That means we got 32y equal to 64. That means y value turns out to be simply 2. And we know that this FB is 8 minus Y. Let me go ahead and replace Y by this 2. So this is going to become 8 minus 2 equal to 6. That means this FB length turns out to be 6. So that means FB equal to Six. And here is our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded triangle FBC. And here is once again our triangle FBC with the base 6 and height 8. And here is the area of a triangle formula. We are going to apply that thing. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A turns out to be a half times base in our case is 6 and height is 8. Let's go ahead and simplify that thing that is going to give us area equals to 24. Thus our area turns out to be 24 square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.